I want to discuss three things about metabolic syndrome, causes, problems and cures. My presentation is divided into three main parts. The first one is what causes metabolic syndrome. The second is what problems can happen to people with metabolic syndrome. And finally, I'd like to look at ways people can recover from the disease. Before I look at those three parts, I'd like to say why I'm interested in the topic. The main reason is that as I get older, my waist is gradually increasing. And so I'd like to know a little bit more about what metabolic syndrome is and how to recover from it. How do you know you have metabolic syndrome? It seems that the main way in which you can identify that you have metabolic syndrome is the size of your waist. For women, it is around about 89 centimetres and for men, it is 101 centimetres. There are a number of problems that can result from being overweight and having metabolic syndrome. According to the UK's National Health Service, probably the most common are a combination of four high blood pressure, heart disease, strokes and diabetes. So what can somebody do if they have metabolic syndrome? Well, it seems the answer is a little bit obvious, but lead a healthy life. Eat lots of fruit, vegetables and fibre and not eat so many fatty foods. It's important to try and get as much exercise as possible and to lead an active and healthy lifestyle. Smoking may be a factor, so if a patient can stop smoking, that would be very helpful. So just to sum up with a few final thoughts. Metabolic syndrome is a result of modern lifestyles where people are not active enough or eat too many fatty foods. It's a complex disease and many factors intertwine. It seems that the main thing to do to cure it is to get back to basics, to live a life of moderation and not eat too many fatty things and to lead an active and healthy lifestyle.